Yes, hello and welcome to Bloke on the British Muzzle Loaders range. I'm here in Canada with Rob of the British Muzzle Loaders channel. Thank you very much for hosting me here. It is a pleasure to have you. You're an excellent liar, sir. Thank you. Right. So, uh, what we're going to talk about today is uh, up close and personal shooting. And Rob does a lot of up close and personal bayonet drill on his channel. I'm a bit more, in fact, entirely more shooting focused. Um, we are going to talk about up close and personal shooting. And it's something that in the interwar years was kind of totally neglected. Um, but in a weapons training memorandum number one, issued in 1940, uh, they actually gave this some serious thought as to how they might go about this, sort of um, uh, using the forgotten distance between normal shooting shooting and bayonet usage. So I've put the rifle down and I've got out the phone which has the relevant parts of Weapons Training Memorandum 1 on it. So the, the general basis for this, uh, it says at the start, uh, firing from the hip in paragraph one of the general notes at the beginning of this pamphlet, it states that the use of the bullet must not, capital letters, be forgotten during hand-to-hand -hand fighting. A trained soldier can achieve a considerable degree of accuracy in firing from the hip at a range not exceeding 10 yards. Training will be carried out in the following simple form. So what they would then do is a squad would fall in with a line of dummies, which are just sacks filled with, uh, filled with straw. So. The instructor would explain that the object of the lesson is to kill an opponent by firing from the hip at ranges up to 10 yards. In other words, the range of the bayonet is lengthened. So, the, 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 the instructor would then demonstrate and uh, he would demonstrate the correct on guard position. So, that is the normal on guard position. The variation here is that the finger must be on the trigger. So by modern ideas of safety, advancing with the finger on the trigger is kind of a no-no, but back in the day, that is uh, the, uh, the deal here. So, fingers on the trigger. The point of the bayonet is lowered by vigorously straightening the left arm and at the same time ensuring that the butt of the rifle is not lowered or withdrawn. Because if you lower the butt of the rifle, it goes up. And this is a point that we will likely get on to later. So there is a natural tendency to shoot high and you have to really consciously aim low. So it is essential that the point must be lowered to the opponent's feet. And this sounds excessive but you've got this conscious ten tendency to point high so if you consciously point it at the feet it, come, it should come out roughly in the middle. Uh, firing of the round is done simultaneously with the lowering of the point entirely by sense of direction and then you reload immediately. Um, and then in the actual drill, which we won't do, the commands are on guard and fire. There are two more complicated stages that we can't possibly do due to uh, the fact there's only two of us and time and equipment constraints. Um, now I'll let you in on a little secret, we try not to fake or hide anything here on Bloke on the Range and uh, we actually filmed the shooting part of this yesterday. Uh, the copy of that file, the PDF that we had brought with us was randomly corrupted. Um, so we tried, we had to do it from memory, we got all of that business in, except we did it at 15 yards instead of 10. Sorry about that, but uh, anyway. On to yesterday. <laughs> Ready?
Okay, so of those uh, six rounds, I made exactly two hits, one there, one there, and high. So the advice to keep the rifle down is entirely correct. It's, it, it's weird, it doesn't feel like it's down, um, but clearly it is. I thought I was pointing it down here, but I'm not. The first few rounds went high. I saw them go over, splash somewhere over there. And uh, so I then tried to consciously keep it down. Uh, reloading on the move for a second shot, it's not actually obvious with the rifle in that position, but uh, I think that's interesting. Let's let Rob have a go. So despite the best advice of the bloke, I only managed two hits. Of course, I was trying to keep my muzzle down, make sure I hit the target, but one, two, center of mass they may be. It's a good way to illustrate the fact that getting good at a technique like this requires a lot of practice and with live ammunition. A luxury that in peacetime and even in wartime, there may not have been to attain really good results like this. The next step is to practice this technique while on the advance, as though we were engaging in an assault on an enemy position and the enemy presented himself at close quarters. Okay, a little bit of practice actually uh, helped. This time I did actually make four hits out of the four rounds. One, two, three, four. It is doable, it does not feel very natural. And I used to shoot IPSC shotgun years and years and years ago back in the UK, in the era when we were trained to hip shoot a bit, but this feels different, it's set up different than a shotgun. Um, I was not expecting to find four hits on that. I thought that I'd at least missed uh, the first ones, but I'm really sorry. I mean, it works. Uh, we we can make hits, and I guess even if you wouldn't, you'd scare the crap out of someone. Um, so uh, let's uh, let Rob have his go. So two seems to be my lucky number. Uh, one, two, and that's about it. So I know that the very first round I did on the first exposure jacked it into the ground in front. So I was a little bit too low there. You know, that said, if someone were to pop out of a trench or something like that in a round, hit the ground right in front of them, chances are they would have got down, allowed me to close and make a follow up shot or, you know, use the bayonet. Uh, as it stands, uh, I, the assault drill or the shooting while moving is an evolution that adds another layer of complexity to the, the standard sort of static hip shooting because you're moving and 
getting that rhythm to have one round with a follow-up shot on the same target like that is half again as difficult as simply trying to hit the target from the hip. Uh, extremely fun exercise and I'm sure we could burn between the two of us countless rounds practicing and once we got good at the static get good at the moving get good at the running and I don't know the jumping and leaping Meh. that said uh, this was the approved technique for close quarter shooting surely we could do better than this I think we probably could He likes this. You shot the string. Oh.